Virgo, welcome to your reading for this week, starting the 20th of October. It's a general reading, so take from it everything that resonates with you and leave anything else behind. I'm using my teacup tarot cards and what a way to start your week, the sun. This is your overall energy. This is success. This is happiness. This is new ideas. This is you reaping the rewards of all your hard work. Your help or your hurdle, the Six of Pencils, says it's time to move on. It's moving on and feeling good. A real breath of fresh air this week. So if things have felt a little bit stuck or a little bit stalled, not anymore. This is the lovely movement forward. What do you need to focus on? Asking for help if you need it and knowing that you have all the resources that you need. The Five of Coins, she's focusing on what she thinks she doesn't have. When in fact she's got all the resources that she needs. So focusing on your strengths and asking for any help if you need it. How can you help yourself? Stay positive and focus on what could go right. Very often we are programmed to do just the opposite. So stay positive. Keep your focus in a positive place. Pulling it all together, we've got the Queen of Coins, an authority figure in the deck. She's learned all the lessons she needs to learn. This Queen of Coins is very focused on home and family. She's very good financially. This Queen is very practical, very down to earth and very resourceful. And if you wanted to talk to anybody in the tarot that would give you a real common sense answer, this is who you would go to talk to, the Queen of Coins. So the Nine of Wands says stay motivated, stay determined, stay persistent and just keep going. Because we've got the success here, moving forward, you just need to stay positive, be sensible and grounded and keep moving forward. The Two of Life says keep life in balance. This is about keeping work life in balance. It's about financial balance. How much time do you give away and how much time do you make for yourself? All those things need considering this week. The 21 of wisdom. This is the world card. This is lovely. This is the end of something, celebrating the completion of something. And also it's about moving on and moving up. It's about advancement and success. The 18 of wisdom, what do you need to focus on? Releasing anything that's holding you back. Anything such as fear, guilt, self-sabotage, self-criticism. You don't need those anymore. It's time for you to fly higher and fly faster. The one of thought, how can you help yourself? Keep moving through a learning phase. This is the card that brings in the clarity, the new ideas. And this is you acting on those new ideas. This is the card when you work it all out. And then expect to get busy. We've got the eight of action. This is a busy new energy coming in. Lots going on at once. The end of delays. Here you are. Lots up in the air all at once for the best reasons possible. And your outcome card, the four of emotion, says look out for this wonderful opportunity coming in. Just stand back and pay attention. Don't be so focused in one direction that you miss a golden opportunity coming in from another. So wonderful news coming in. Just step back and look out for it. So we've got the success and the moving forward. We've got moving on to another chapter. Stay focused, stay determined. It's time to leave behind anything that's weighing you down and holding you back. Focus on your strengths. Focus on practicality and resourcefulness and then expect to get busy. These brilliant new ideas coming in and look out for these wonderful new opportunities coming your way. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you even more for liking, sharing and subscribing.
It's free to do all of those things and it truly does support my channel. So look after yourselves, have a lovely week and I'll see you here again soon.